A 45 kg woman stands up in a 60 kg canoe, 5 meter long. She walks from a point 1 meter from one end to a point 1 meter from the other end. If you ignore resistance to motion of the canoe in the water, how far does the canoe move during this process? This question is based on the center of mass. This is the canoe. It is, uh, its mass is 60 kilograms and the length is 5 meters. Now, the lady is standing at a distance of 1 meter from one end. So, we take this end as the origin and then she is standing 1 meter from the origin. And the mass of this lady is 45 kilograms. Now, we have to calculate and this lady walks across the canoe and reaches the other end 1 meter before the end of the canoe. That means that she just walks from here to 3 meters because the total length of the canoe is 5 meters. She is standing 1 meter from one end of the canoe and then reaches the 1 meter before the end of the canoe. That means total 3 meters she walks. Okay, that is the thing. Now the canoe is just like a um, horizontal boat. Okay, therefore, this is let us consider this as a symmetric object and then whose center of gravity lies at the center. Therefore, the total length of the canoe is 5 meters and its center of gravity lies at the center. That means 2.5 meters from either end. Okay, now we have to calculate the center of mass of the system. The center of mass of the system along the x-axis is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 by m1 plus m2. Because this is a two-body system, we will uh, m1 and m2 are the masses of the objects. m1 I will consider the mass of the woman and then m2 is the mass of the canoe. And x1 is the distance of the woman from the or, uh, arbitrary origin. And then x2 is the distance of the center of gravity of the canoe from the arbitrary axis. Now, the center of mass of the system before the woman moves is 45 because the, her mass is 45 and she is at a distance of 1 meter from the origin. Therefore, 45 into 1 plus the mass of the canoe is 60 and then its center of gravity is 2.5. So, I am multiplying that one divided by M1 plus M2 gives a value of 1.857 meters. Now, center of mass of the system after the woman moves to uh, other point. So, xm is equal to 45 into 4 meters. From this origin, the woman will be 4 meters total distance. And then plus 60 into the center of gravity of the canoe will not change. It will be at 2.5 only. Therefore, it will be 2.5 divided by total mass 45 plus 60 gives 3.1428 meters. Now, the distance moved by the canoe during this period is difference between the two values, two center of masses. So, 3.1428 minus 1.857 gives 1.2857. That means 1.28 meters. That is what he is asking. How far does the cano move during this process? The cano moves 1.28 meters. That's it. Simple. First of all, you should know where the objects are. This lady is at a distance of 1 meter from the origin. And then the center of gravity of the cano is 2.5 meters from the origin. Now, before the woman moves to other end, what is the center of mass of the system? And then after the woman moves to the other point, what is the center of mass of the system? Now, the difference between these two gives the distance moved by the canoe. That's it. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.